Hey y'all, this is Mike here. In today's video, I'm going to bring you the steps on how you actually flash uh, Lineage OS 16 to the Xiaomi Mi 8. Okay, first of all, you need to go to the uh, Mi UI Unlock website, which I'll share with you down in the description below. So what you can do after you click on Mi Unlock, it requires to log in. So once you log into the uh, website, you'll be able to download the Mi Unlock app. To download it, Okay, once you have downloaded the Mi Unlock app, you would basically need to um, enable developer options on your phone. Okay, so normally what you do, you go to About Phone, then uh, make sure it's the thing, go to About Phone, then you go to your Android uh, UI version, and you tap on it for 7 times. You don't need your already developer because I already enabled it. So what you can do now is to go to uh, additional settings now you see develop options here just click on it you'll need to allow OEM unlocking then OES bit debugging as well as the Mi UI status unlock you need to agree and you add account and device so you need to turn off Wi-Fi for this and just add it in right so ultimately once you have applied for unlock you should be able to actually connect your uh, Mi account with the uh, unlock itself. So that's why I said make sure that Mi UI account is locked in with your account that you created for the unlock to happen. So once you have that already, you should be able to run the unlock tool and follow on with the step of the process. Okay, so once you have enabled the developer options all, you will need to actually launch Mi Unlock tool. Once you launch it and you have enabled uh, boot into fast boot mode, you, un you plug your cable to the phone itself and you should be able to see that your phone is connected. Then after that, you can press on the unlock button and there will be two more prompts to basically tell you that the unlock is, uh, uh, is it will basically clear off your entire device and stuff. So as you, you click on unlock anyway, again and again, both two times. So once you are there, you should be able to actually see another screen, which is the, uh, your unlock status. So, some some of the device you will need to wait for a certain period of time before you can unlock. So for this case is that for my case when I actually try to unlock it, they say I have one thousand or hours to wait for it to finish. So you would need to basically wait for the hours to be done uh, before you can try unlocking a device again. So, um, but if you have your waiting time, it's not long, and you have waited for the waiting time and it's done. You can actually go and click on unlock and once an unlock success you should see the screen unlock successfully and you can proceed to the second step so once you have your phone unlocked and usb debugging enabled you are ready to move on to the computer for the setup of a flashing lineage os to the phone itself so without further ado let's proceed with it once you enable usb debugging when you plug your phone to the computer itself you will be greeted with this message so what you want to do is basically just click on OK on then allow. So once you are done with that, we can actually move down to the computer for the rest of the setup. Okay, first of all, you will need to enable uh, install minimal ADB and fast boot, which I already installed. I'll leave a link down below where you can actually install this. So once you are done with this, you can just do ADB devices to ensure device is connected. So as you can see, device is connected now. So where you would want to go will be the um, ADB reboot boot loader. This is where to boot into fast boot mode so that you can actually carry on with the flashing. So just click on enter. So your phone should be booted into boot loader mode. Uh, I mean like uh, fast boot mode. So once you are there, you will need to navigate to your. For me, virtually the stuff is in my app um, data. Mi 8 Linux OS 16 right so I need to go to F Mi 8 CD Linux OS 16 right so this is all the stuff that you have so you can do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected yeah device is connected so now what you want to do next is to flash the recovery so custom recovery TWRP so you do a fast boot slash recovery recovery 
uh, TWRP, sorry. Deeper. So you just press OK. So once that is done, you can actually boot into the TWRP recovery. So you can do a fast boot. Boot TWRP. This will basically boot your phone into TWRP rec uh, recovery itself. Okay. Since we are in recovery, before you actually do any uh, installation, um, please make sure you do a, a wipe. Then after that, do a factory reset. Right after you do a factory reset, then you can start flashing the stuff. So just do a swipe, a factory reset. Afterward, when you are done, you can just go back to install and install the apps that you want to do. Okay, so once you are in recovery mode. Uh, you can actually just do a swipe to allow modification on the screen. So you are in recovery now. So what you're gonna do because I we do not have any uh, files, firmware files in the phone now. We will need to push it in. So normally we'll just do ADB. Um, you should have ADB devices. So the device is connected via recovery. So you can do ADB push. Then HOS deeper to into the phone itself slash SD card maybe on the default directory yeah so we are pushing that into the SD card when you push this in the next thing is the GApps okay once that is done you can actually do the um, pushing now for the GApps so you do a ADB push again Push uh, G open G apps. Then you go to slash SD card as well. Then push this in. Once you have done this, we can actually move on to the phone for the rest of the setup. Okay, so now we are done. All the both are pushing. We'll move to the phone for the rest of the setup. Okay, as we are in the recovery now, uh, this phone is previously previously wiped. If you haven't wiped it, you can actually do a wipe. I previous wipe it uh, ready. So basically what we do now is just do an install. So you just do an install, you just find this is the tool file we pushed in just now. So you just select one of them, and pause it, select the second one. Once you're done, so you can just do a swipe to confirm flash. So let's just do it. So now it's flashing, we'll just wait for the flashing to complete. Okay, as you can see now, the flash has been completed. So what you want to do is to actually flash cache and Delvi cache. After that is done, we will just reboot the system. Do not install, and you should be booted into NHOS 16. Okay, uh, we are done booting up. So like what you say here, um, you are going back to the setup screen. You can skip this. Can skip this you can continue next up space all this you can turn it off first um, accept skip 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 anyway okay next start so here you go uh the nature OS is installed apparently uh, if you look at it this nature OS 16 i can just go and take a look at the settings about phone uh, Android 9 right so currently you're Android 9 the Android 16 deeper right so yeah ultimately this is how you do it it's pretty simple and direct so that's all for today's guys uh, this is how you install the NHOS into your Xiaomi Mi 8 so yeah if you want to do that just follow closely to the instruction in the video and I think you should get that done pretty quickly um, so if you like the video I'm doing please subscribe to the channel and Hope to see you again soon. Bye.